hello there everybody oh boy I don't know if the sound is on hello taste taste I think it is um, due to some lags um, <clears throat> I've turned on the performance mode um, here on the streaming thingy and uh, then it doesn't show if my microphone is working but okay it seems like it is um, so yeah, welcome to another uh, episode uh, or session of Distant Worlds 2. Now before we start, there's something that was released today. And we are talking about a stellar update. So did explorers were pleased to announce that the uh, new update is now available. Significant improvements to gameplay and overall game quality. Enriching your interstellar journey through the galaxy. This completely free update is to address stability issues, uh, launch problems. Well, I never had these issues. Uh, actually, you know what happened? When I was uh, still using, I mean, when I had my game installed, this game installed on my old uh, hard drive, uh, the game was constantly crashing. And then I read somewhere that you have to actually install it on an SSD drive. And uh, since I installed it on an SSD drive, the, the crash is just uh, simply miraculously disappeared. Since then there's been a few major updates for the game and um, the stability was just, um, it's a day and night based on stability. Today, at this time, uh, I'm not having any crashes at all. Um, and yeah, I spend I don't know how many hours in the game. But anyway, with these fixes in place, uh, so I hope there's going to be more and more people that are going to have less issues with uh, crashing the game. Um, so, the enhanced guided ship design, I did uh, log into the game, I mean uh, load up the game and checked a few things. And uh, let me tell you, the, th uh, the the game seems to be running way smoother. We're gonna see it today, but um, anyway. Um, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, this is a new design, I'm gonna show it. I mean new design, um, there's an additional policy system, uh, a whole section for this. Uh, defined user interface, I didn't have time to check that much because I've, uh, I've been checking that before I went to work at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Discover the universe of possibilities with the addition of a new measurement tool. Ooh. Oh, that's new. Okay, fine. Providing intuitive ways to go gouge distances and plan your next move. Oh, that's awesome. The user interface enhancements included in the same update um, aim to streamline navigation and improve overall accessibility. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, charting a clear path. Commonly reported pathfinding issues. Yeah, that's always going to be an issue with um, with uh, games like this. I do hope uh, we're going to check out today. Actually, we're going to see how Hexodorium because we've ran out how Hexodorium is going to be distributed between the planets because um, we've ran out um, last time when I clicked to update or upgrade uh, one of the fleets. <laughs> oh, pardon me. It says there was no free resources in range. But at the same time, um, when I checked how much Hexodorium we have in our coffers, it said it, we have 700,000. Um, so there should be enough to upgrade the fleet. Maybe the fleet just didn't have enough fuel to go... Uh, I, mean, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, when you press the update, uh, upgrade button on the, on the ship or on the fleet view, um, I'm not sure if the fleet checks your whole empire and goes to that uh, port that can do it or does it only check in a certain area around the um, where the fleet currently is and if there's not enough resources there it says okay that's it no, not, not enough resources so because based on that uh, that we had enough hexodorium uh, to upgrade the fleet like several times um, I'm not sure how the how the um, the game in the background actually is done that way. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments because it's an interesting part. But anyway, um, let's hope I find this tool um, or well this tool, the measurement tool. So um, da 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 improvements, uh, yeah, behavior, construction, diplomacy, colonization, and more. 
from the intricates of interstellar politics to the changes of managing burgeoning colonies. Okay, sounds good to me. Beyond the stars, uh, this is a uh, download. You can download a um, um, a Word document. So I didn't download it because um, I would rather play the game. If it would be a list, we would probably go through it. But anyway, um, first thing I've noticed, of course, the um, settings. Um, everything is way more snappier. Like. It's like the game wouldn't even be running. It's smooth as hell. We're gonna see when we start uh, running the, the time. But um, these things, they work like a charm. Look at that. Not a single, how should I call it? Um, well, it's not a glitch, but it works like um, this would be, the whole game would be, I don't know. Two megabytes um so it really really feels like a thousand times faster but yeah we're gonna see when we um let's say unhook the time uh so yeah first thing that i've noticed uh this was reset uh, where is it the crimson constellation so color scheme was ba uh, back to um the default but i've set it again to crimson constellation because uh i don't know i kind of like this red um they still didn't fix oh they still didn't fix this that's a bit sad <laughs> so much about the update uh if you have more than one war what happens is a very important part um which is this one um so if uh, any of the planets become rebelling um or rebellious you don't see that icon um yeah we've got 12 billion so we might hop or pop into the research screen advanced robotic repairs 19 days crew systems 25 medical systems 41 uh well there's no point in um spending money on this so we're not we're gonna wait What's the second? Oh yeah, there's a bug in game. Um, I don't know if I can actually report it. I've been thinking about that. By the way, we haven't. Uh, I forgot to check this last time um, at the end of the session. So yeah, we're doing pretty darn good. Um, our goal is to take uh, control 75% colonies in the gal galaxy. We control 53. Which means we just go on a bombarding rampage and we could probably win. Um, but... Message lock... No. I really don't know if I can report a bug. But the bug here is, again... The last time I've done this off screen before I started the stream up. This time I'm not gonna bother. Um, not sure what to do with... Fleet. It has 27 ships. But we had 280 last time. And um, one time, one session before that happened the same. There was only 11 ships in the fleet. Uh, this time you could say, okay, it's because of... Oh my god, there's... Uh, I thought there's all, all the fleets missing ships. Um, this time we could say it's due to... Uh, due to um, the new update, you know, and it messed up something. But it happened before the update as well. Uh, so, not sure what to do with fleet. It's 27 ships only. But if you go to military ships and you go strength highest and you go ships not in a fleet. There's the Dark Swarm. Um, these are the troop. You will not find 280 ships here. See? So, they must be in a fleet. Ships in a fleet. Now, because we have strength highest, you will see... Um, these are the cruisers, the same power. Um, well, we should go from the bottom, because there's no cruisers in the... In the um, not sure what to do fleet. So, you're going to see different fleets, but there's also going to not sure what to do with fleet. 
So what we have to do again, I mean what I've done the last time and it worked, but it only worked until I restarted the game, is we have to put all of these back in. Like minus, there was how many ships? 27, something like that. We go, join ships to fleet C. Not sure what to do with fleet. Now it has 32. So even though it says here, not sure what to do with uh, fleet, they are not in. So they are in the fleet based, I mean, on, in these filters, but they are not in the fleet if you select them here. There's only ships that are right next to, or even those are not all here. Even these are not all here. Oop, she's gonna lag a bit. Yeah, see, all of these ships here should be in the fleet. There's only a couple. So that's the bug that's really annoying, and I don't know how I could send the save game to the developers. Would be nice if I could do it through the game, because the save game is 150 megabytes already. But at least um, it is... Oh no, this has disappeared. Uh, at least now it is... Um, documented let's call it that way and i might post this on um when i'm gonna post this on youtube i'm gonna send it to the developers to check um yeah at least i forgot about something so we're gonna move on anytime now i just need to send a message it's thursday So, um, not a lot of people are gonna come in and join us today. It's usually the quiet day on Twitch. Where the heck is that? When did I went blind? Ah, there you go. Right, let's pop this in. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Announcements. A full cha change list for the Stellar update is also available here. Now, I don't know if this is this one or if it's um, further on. Compatibility and launch issues. When was this posted? 4.17? Ah. Ah, okay, fine. So, crash fixes. Okay, we're not going to read about that. Compatibility and launch issues. Uh, no, 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 no. Performance, the fleet update. No, 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 no. Hyperspeed update. For late game and late galaxies, 2000 stars. So, thank you very much, developers. Okay, this was also needed. Though I have uh, 64 megabytes of RAM, but it is DDR4. Reduced memory pressure in a number of ways. Pathfinding. General performance improvements. Ah, this usually stops the game and then it dumps garbage and then it starts again. So that's something that you see the day just stops and uh, then it just rushes forward. It's like that's usually what happens. Yeah. Visibility system related performance improvement room. Now where is the measurement tool? Does anybody know? Hmm. Oh, 
hold shift and left click, release left click, but hold shift and drag. Hold shift, left click. I'm still holding the shift. Ah, 200 million is how much? Ooh, that's far. That's like a cluster or a sector. I think that's 200. Okay, well, it works. Um. Oh wow, holding shift will also turn on distances in various cover info cards and mission descriptions. Add a summary of game starting situation to write of load game file screen. Oh wow. Um. Yeah, what I said before. We kind of have to invest a bit more into uh, research. We're actually investing huge money into research now. 16% um, less in colony growth. But what I wanted to show is um, this weapon and component focuses. So this is the new added stuff um, for automated, automated building uh, of the ships. So you can go... Uh, you have way more options now. So this whole part has been added with this update. Uh, okay, starting situation to la, 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 la. select ship hull screen now includes fighters. Minimum and maximum. Minimum and maximum effect rate sliders. Because um, the sliders, I don't like them. They should, this is not good. It should be visible, that's first thing. Where's the slider at now? So I always start going up and down with the mouse so I could kind of try to find the slider, but. And uh, it is pretty unclickable. So. Options menu. Um, where are the sliders? Is this it? Oh, I thought it's a setting for sliders. Yeah, well, it's my English. That's my English, which is not always logical. Fix missing ship and base symbols at local. Uh, clicking on item, tra la la. Alrighty, pathfinding we've already read. Fleet and fleet behavior, that's important. extended functionality uh, of fleet top up let's select a fleet first um, let's say not sure what to do with I don't know why this oh no okay uh, fine fine maybe I should disband the fleet Jeez, Louise um, it really is an issue with the bug that I said before maybe it's gonna release the ships but I don't want them to 
be kind of released and roam around freely because they're just gonna mess up uh, the whole economy fuel and all that crap uh, that's why i actually gathered them in the same place uh, put them on um, wanted to get them upgraded and then um, putting them into fleets and even if they all die and uh, be lost i don't care Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, this usually created another mess. Fleet tracks jump as whole and all ships either succeed or fail with tracking. Okay, fine. So they will jump uh, more or less as a group, not as much as the single ships because then the enemy ship was jump or the enemy fleet was jumping around in the same system or it jumped like three systems and your whole fleet was scattered among three systems. Not to mention that they ran out of fuel some were faster some were slower it, it completely messed up your whole your whole um your whole fleet and before it took a year before you managed to get um the fleet back together Oh boy, uh, give me a second. Crap. Mark is not red. Okay, fine. Getting emails still. And it's half past seven in the evening. Anyway, fleet's now better at maintaining cohesion. Uh, Alrighty, that's great. Fleet moving to non-specific destination. Will now jump directly to destination when within jump range and not passing through nebula. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was a bug. No longer disable retrofit fleet button when construction yard wait queue is too long. Yeah, I think that something's messed up with that part, because um, the ships that were waiting... Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, construction speed, construction wait time, space points, colonies... Hmm. Where's my spaceport? Like the Lucky Luke spaceport. What happened with it was that um, I cannot remember. Was it a freakingly long line? But it doesn't look like it. Yeah, see? These are still the ships of this um, not sure what to do fleet. Angry skirmish. I cannot click on the ships. Oopsie daisy. That was a bit of a mistake. So something bugged out on this part. These are all the ships, like 200, 300 ships more or less. That should come and uh, upgrade. But um, yeah. They are here. So we've added these ones. Not sure what to do with... Oh! Oh, that's nice. So, if we add them, what's their job? I mean, what are they doing? Fuel zero. 
not sure what to do with. Uh, what the heck is it? When did I go blind? So this must be in. Retrofit. Very not sure what to do with. So they seem to be inside. Oh well. We're gonna figure that out later. Um, fixed split top up button sometimes not working properly. Yeah, I had that issue. Rebalanced automated fleet creation. Tweaked how automated fleet home bases and attack points are selected so that Empire has better offensive and defensive posture. Okay. Yeah, this is useful. Let's hope that works. I mean that it is improved. Invasion support fleet's attack rate will now take on other targets when arrive. But have no invasion coming blah blah blah. blah. Fixed fleet sometimes incorrectly overriding engagement range to a dangerous location. Okay, so invasion support fleets attack rate will now take on other targets when arrive at enemy colony but have no invasion capability. Uh, okay, fine. Improved invasion fleet willingness to invade other enemy colonies when not enough troops to prevail against main designated attack points. Ship behavior. Ships with low accuracy hyperdrive. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to do it manually, but uh, we ran into some issues. I probably wanted to overdo it, which I kind of hope that with time the developers will still implement the possibility to have more stations and uh, more ships of the same type. AI improvements. Yeah, what AI does is um, you have set a policy, a cash policy, funding levels, and if the ship maintenance goes too high, is too high, it's gonna start stop. I mean, start disbanding units. Same goes with troop maintenance. Yeah, the the AI will always try and build up to the point that you are. Uh, that has the available amount and um, then it's gonna disband the units if the amount used is too high uh, based on uh, I mean towards uh, amount available um, they've tweaked this a bit in the, in the last update because um, it was too volatile so you know the AI was just recruiting 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 it hit the number and then immediately started disbanding 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 and it was killing your cash cash supply um because um each recruitment costs money and when you disband the unit you don't get it back construction diplomacy colonies and colonies so peace offer now properly shown and additional demands in main body Okay, that's a um, drop down. I mean, not a drop down. It's a um, slider there on the side. If it's a lot of things that you would get, for example, for making peace. Mm. Ah, okay. Didn't know there's a bug with that. I mean, a bug it was a. Wrong growth rate calculations, it seems. Automated colony ships will now unload unsuitable race to allow loading another race. With... Okay, that's fine. I mean, perfect. <laughs> colony conquest and technology advances. Okay, that's good. 
Prevent technology breakthroughs. Wait, prevent technology break. I th I also think that um, you should not get a technology immediately uh, for taking every colony. That's just a uh, too much of a bonus for whoever is taking on. Um, I mean, whoever is winning those ground battles, because the AI rushes in and it takes a couple of your planets. This, you can do the same and just steal too much, too much technology. It should you should make a progress or make a certain amount of, let's say, technology points, but uh, not not a whole research feature every time. Uh, okay, so it seems like this is it. Ah, no conquest technology unless conquest and happiness from previous invasion. Okay, that's fine. Ah, okay. Colony conquest no longer provides only partial progress. Will now always provide complete technology breakthrough when it provides a reward, but um, based on that, fixed colony troops sometimes mistakenly ending up on invading side. Ooh, I don't recall having this one. War score. Reduce defensive base value, reduce spaceport values, increase research station and resource base value. So if you destroy this, this has been changed the numbers. Um, this is also something they had to fix. Um, as if you're watching this on YouTube, you have seen me stealing research from the pirates constantly. And I could probably still do it, but I got um, tired of it. This had to be toned down. Yeah, they also managed to, you know, just salvage technology. And then you stole it. So, that was a, that's a good thing. Okay. Game editor. Oh, interesting. Modding support. Uh, I don't have this DLC yet, so I'm not gonna um, read through that. You can check. You can check. Uh, you can pause the video. Holy crap! I've been going on for half an hour. Ikuron Dreyhut, minor fix, and blah 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 blah. Some minor changes to Temesian, also to the defensive. A defense based around Kasim. Okay, I've been um, rattling about the new update for half an hour. Jesus Christ, time flies when you're playing this game. Um, let me close a few things so the game is gonna run more smoothly. Alrighty, where did my galaxy go? Um, okie dokie. So, let's move on. Now, what was our plan last time? I have no freaking idea. Oh my god, please fix the slider. Um, let's unpause. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, plenty of fighting, I guess. Okay, these are more or less just... Um... What the heck is this mushroom? Oh boy, don't sound. You know what would also be nice? Um, hmm. this is a pretty much, it's a, um, belt of those asteroids. Oh, uh, you know, it also would also be nice if we would know how many new colonies. Well, these are the available ones, I assume. I assume we can colonize 900 planets. But um, it would be nice. Why is this one all down at the bottom? Okay, this is super odd. We're gonna colonize it. But um, what I meant to say is it would be nice if you would know how many colony ships, how many planets you have set to be colonized. We have 21 colony ships out. 
more or less. I don't know if this one counts. Probably it does. But uh, how many are we supposed to send out? Because there's there's 21 and there's more. Plenty more. But okay, fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to figure out do that. 2% for Kuprika. Yeah, look at that. Aculon is very strong. Heat resistance, blue metal, but we're freaking out of it. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what's go what we're gonna do with the not sure what to do thing. Fleet. Watchful Dreyhat. Uh, okay, fine. Oh! Also. Uh, Lucky Town. We're gonna build this. Build Espionage Academy in Lucky Town for 50k. Appearance Chance of Spies. That's awesome. Counter Espionage. Espionage. Concealment. Sabotage. Psyops. Assassination. Yeah, yeah. Build it, build it. Um, there's also another thing. Last time we had an issue with upgrading our... Was it the third invasion fleet? No, was it the first invasion fleet? It was. And, um, okay, awesome. Now we're gonna go and check. Holy moly. End war with Daedalun Corporation. Do we want to end the war with the Daedalun? No, we do not. Um, let's check how much does this thing cost. Holographic reality. Sure. Optimized cargo storage. We cannot do that yet. This will cost 40k. That's cheap. This will cost 13k. So let's do it. Uh, attack shuttles research. Attack shuttles. Let's check that. Attack shuttles. Okay, we're gonna have the best fighters that we can get our hands on, so that's not bad. We have something that is a uh, Agdarian. We have oh, these are the attack shuttles. Hmm. I mean, nothing wrong with that if we have good uh, attack shuttles. Um, so. Boshak and Yaksta. Completed research and increased what? Maneuverability. Where did we steal it from? I think it's... Uh, I think I know. Um, from the Ikuro. Name. Highest skill level. Yeah, these two. Ikuro clan. High powered blasters. Oh, that's the only thing we can go for. We'll go for it then. And then it is What if we try with Shadur? Ooh boy, that's not gonna work out. Um Let's see if we can snatch anything from two guns. Nothing high level. Enhanced bombardment. I do not want to risk a spy. Let's try. Whew. Aha, Black Storm Corporation. High power blasters. Dreadrock. Died a loon. I'm just checking, you know, how high the percentages are. If we get something that's very high. We don't have anything. We can heavy missile batteries.
We know for two guns. Wave of Destiny. Improved colonization 81%. Do we need that? We definitely could use that. Enhanced bombardment. You know what? Wave of Destiny. Improved colonization. Go for it. Let's try and snatch that. Um, so, the first invasion fleet is doing what? Retrofit. Why do we want to retrofit? Massive army, army, massive large fuel tankers, small troop transports. Oh crap again. Oh yeah, we didn't have enough resources to upgrade. Now I remember, that's why I sent them over. Uh, accept treaty no advanced crew systems research. Now it's um, optimized cargo storage, three years. We're gonna invest into research because um, we have enough cash. Luxury crew environment, let's do that. Should we go with any sort of diplomacy? So we have our population happier. Mortal and I don't think they exist. Uh, we've pretty much wiped them out. Vicarus is something that we're gonna uh, that we're gonna enslave soon. Let's see what else is important. Oh, improved colonization. Did I go for that? I think I did. Terminal operations. What does this thing do? Can only be two in Empire. Oh my appearance chance spice plus okay fine. Let's do that. Hence stealth. I'm not that keen on that. Superior fleets targeting. Ah, we're full. Our research queue is full. Okay, so again, we're still waiting for the freaking fleet to upgrade. And then we can end the war and we have to um um, save our uh, our spy Shriek <laughs> advanced medical systems good very good oops what did I do advanced energy secrets 4 million oh boy oh boy okay fine uh, we can put one more research in. What if we go with this one? Destructible components. Ultra dense armor. 124 rating. Reactive armor. Reactive 6. Reactive 8. Iron damage 3. And damage too, yeah, this is definitely something to go with, but then we're gonna have to upgrade all the freaking ships again. Oh boy. Um, I'm not sure, I think there's more than what we have here, more research. I was hoping we we're gonna unlock it. Hmm. battery this is gonna take three years uh, 